Uh, community water fluoridation, actually the original research started in the early 20th century. A dentist from uh, out in Colorado who noticed the brown staining of the children's teeth in his practice. But interestingly, he also found that they didn't have uh, much tooth decay. So that started a 30-year quest, actually, before it was finally determined that the uh, staining and the lack of decay was due to the uh, fluoride in the water. Um, in a, another 15 years of research uh, by some very prominent people in the field, um, found that the right mix of uh, a small amount of fluoride in the water that prevented tooth decay but also didn't cause that staining of the teeth. So beginning in 1945 they started putting uh, adding fluoride to uh, community water systems that didn't have fluoride and the experiment was originally designed for 15 years. Well after 11 years uh, the results were so dramatic that uh, uh, this started in Grand Rapids, Michigan, was one of the original cities, and uh, the decay in children went down over 60 percent. That cities that weren't being fluoridated now said, well, we should be doing this. So uh, that really started community water fluoridation, and uh, people don't realize at the time how severe and widespread decay was. It was, um, most people had tooth decay. As a matter of fact, in World War II, about 15% of recruits were rejected because they didn't have enough teeth um, to qualify for service. So uh, since that time, um, and since community water fluoridation came in, and then uh, fluoride added to toothpaste, um, the decay rates have declined dramatically, such that CDC in around the year 2000 called it one of 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. Some people object to just anything being put into the drinking water or put into our foods or anything, but um, besides fluoride, you don't have to go far to find uh, healthful benefits. Vitamin D in milk to prevent rickets, iodine in salt to prevent uh, thyroid problems. I mean, these were major problems uh, in the United States until things started being added uh, for health, and so fluoride. Um, people complain not only of having something added, but also that it causes other health effects. But um, with the exception of that, that original brown staining that was found, um, which was called fluorosis, and now very, very mild forms of fluorosis primarily um, from fluoride in the drinking water, uh, panels of scientists have looked repeatedly at any adverse health effects from fluoride and uh, have called it safe and effective. Well, Delta Dental uh, member companies have been about prevention for a long time, so this is a natural fit for us. We're, our, part of our mission is to extend access to care and, uh, and improve people's oral health. And there are very few ways better to prevent oral health or to prevent dental disease um, than through the use of fluoride. So um, in these tough economic times, uh, many municipalities have found that it's it's too costly to continue fluoridation or they've made that determination and so many member companies have jumped in and uh, provided them either uh, equipment to start fluoridating, to continue fluoridating, or or to help buy chemical um, until they can better manage things uh, on their own. But we've recognized the importance of preventing uh, dental disease uh, and is cost saving for consumers uh, in the long term and and it's an important part of our um, community benefit program.